Hey there, how's it going? I'm going to do this week's analytics for my channel for monetizing my small channel. Uh, as you can tell, I'm faceless again. It's like eight o'clock at night and I'm just trying to get through this. It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. But I wanted to get my video out. So here we go. Uh, looks like I have 250 subscribers. Um, I'd have to go back and look to see how many I had on the 26th because I don't remember. So uh, let's peek real quick and see, looks like I had 235. So um, back on my analytics and let's look at the last seven days. Uh, my views are pretty good. Uh, watch time was pretty good and I got 12 new subscribers according to this screen. It, as you watch my other, other videos, you'll notice that there is a discrepancy between this. I had 235 subscribers last Monday. Now I have 250 subscribers according to this real-time analytics thing here. And then this one right here is saying I only have 12 more. But I guess it's just not counting the subscribers from today. I, I don't really know. Um, but this is how it goes. Um, so that looks pretty good. Advanced mode. Let's go into there and subscription source. I like to look at this. So it looks like I got six new subscribers from the YouTube watch page, four from the YouTube feed, three from my channel, and then I gained one and lost one. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, one thing that I learned new that I wanted to share with you that I did not even know that was on here, um, under the, the same analytics screen, go to inspiration. And if you go here, you can go... Go under getting pop, getting popular or what people are looking for, and you can come up with some ideas. These are ideas that are related to videos that I've posted that I could possibly use to post as my next video, for example. So I can heart these, you know, favorite them, um, how to find viral products. And then if I go back to my main screen, I'll show up here where it says saved. And then these could be possible videos that I can create if I run out of ideas. So I thought I would share that. I thought that was really, really interesting. So let's go to over to content. And it looks like I uploaded two long form videos in the week and I got really, really excited. I posted my last monetization video on the 26th and on the 27th, I actually recorded two videos. I posted one on the 27th and one on the 28th. And then I got busy. I had my kitchen painted. I didn't have a whole lot of time to myself. Um, so I still need to record and upload a video about my, you know, my whole kitchen transformation. I'm waiting for some things to be shipped into the mail. Uh, I haven't quite put everything together yet, but I will get that uploaded once I get to that. So just looking at my content for the week, um, my last video um, that I posted last Monday got 18 views. Got quite a lot of comments and likes. I think I got a lot of some subscribers on that video. Well, let's just click here where it says analytics and we can see exactly how many. Actually, no, I'm not getting subscribers on that one. So let me click on this one. That one looks like I got one subscriber. I think it's still going back to my episode uh, this one or perhaps my older one because this one got 100, 603 views. So this one might be the one where I'm getting the subscribers. Yeah, it is. And that's cool. That's really, really cool. I'm, that was my week uh, three and this today is my week seven. So older videos are still getting shown. So yeah, 14, uh, 16 views here to 34 views. I got some comments. People are clicking the down button, which is a bummer, but whatever. It's not for everybody. Um, 18 views on that one, 25, 14. I'm still getting some views on some of these older videos, which is cool. And then over to the shorts. I did post some shorts. Let's see. 26. So it looks like I posted that one. I think I did think I did post this one with the little bear ears right after that other video. So that one got 630 views, 170, 574, 179, 4. Uh, 64. So this, these ones with the, with the brown background, these are ones that are from my long form video. So if I go back to, whoops, when I go back to this one right here, I used a software program called Opus Clip. What I would do with this is I would take my YouTube video that I uploaded and I would put the link in here and then it would give me all of these 
videos that I could download. Like it automatically cuts it for me and it tells me, you know, um, why this one would be a good one to use. It's, it's giving me this, this information, right? So what I did was I took all of those and uploaded those as shorts. And you're going to see those with the, like I said, the brown backgrounds. And, you know, I'm getting pretty good views on those after I uploaded them because I first I took the clips and then I uploaded them and then somebody made a comment. So I have to say thank you to that person that made the comment about adding hashtags and adding more descriptive, you know, keywords. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, what? I'm lacking on that on the short. So I did go back through all those videos and started adding. And then I started seeing an uptick in my shorts being shown. So that's kind of cool. The other thing that I wanted to mention is someone else made another comment saying, why are you posting shorts? Because typically, basically, why are you wasting your time posting shorts? Because typically shorts uh, content doesn't usually convert into watch hours. Like, like the shorts viewers tend to be different from the people that watch your regular long form content. And I would agree. I, I, I personally don't watch shorts on YouTube. I go and watch long form content and it's something that I'm searching for. And then usually if somebody I like, you know, a few of their videos, I'll subscribe for them. So I figure that a lot of people are probably like me, not everyone, obviously. Um, but I, I do agree that a lot of the people that are subscribing through my shorts are not coming back and watching my long form video. So again, why was, why am I wasting my time on the shorts? So what I'd answered back to that person was, is I'm still figuring things out. So I figured I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing until I have figured it out. The other thing is for the Opus clip, I paid for a year's worth of clips. So I've still got 37 hours of clips to grab. And I mean, I think I paid over a hundred dollars. So I want to use that up and um, I will use all that up. And then I will decide whether I want to continue using Opus Clip. So far, I like it. So far, I feel like it saves me time. So if you're interested in checking out Opus Clip, I do have an affiliate link down in the description of this video. You can check that out. And I would really appreciate it if you use my affiliate link. That is one of the ways that I monetize on here. So let's talk about the other ways that I am trying to monetize on YouTube. So if you've watched my videos before, you would know that I'm shooting for the second tier of monetization. There's two tiers with, with YouTube. So let me kind of scroll down a little bit slower so we can see. So eligibility on the first tier is that you have to have 500 subscribers. You have to upload at least three public videos within the last 90 days. You have to have 3,000 public watch hours or 3 million public shorts views. And then you'll get the benefit of these monetization strategies. You can have memberships that you can, you know, charge people whatever. I don't know, whatever your fee is, $2, $5, $10. I don't know if it's a month or a week or whatever. So supers is a way that you can kind of reward your, your biggest fans with stickers and things like that. And then the other thing is you can connect your online store to YouTube. I don't have any membership plans. I don't know that supers like stickers and things are super exciting. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then shopping, I don't have my own store. I don't have my own Shopify store. I, I just don't have anything to connect. So I'm looking for this other monetization tier, which has harder requirements. So this one is earn from ads and YouTube premium on the watch page. So this is really big for YouTube channels that if you were watching this video and I was monetized, there would be an ad in the middle of this video somewhere, right? And I can choose where I put that ad. I know that we all don't like to watch ads, but when you're looking to spend your time doing this, you do want to get paid for spending your time doing this. Um, people that subscribe to YouTube premium, they wouldn't get as many ads. Um, so that is kind of cool. I guess you get like a little bit of, of the money from that. The other thing is uh, shorts ads. So you've got the watch page ads and then you got the shorts uh, feed ads. So this one is a thousand subscribers, 4,000 public watch hours or 10 million shorts views. So I'm probably not going to be able to monetize with the shorts view. So it's probably going to be the 4,000 watch hours. But you can see right here, I'm at 113 in the last 365 days, and I've only got a quarter of the subscribers that I need to get. So this is just one of the monetization strategies that I'm working on. Can't wait to get here. I'm not in a rush. 
I'm excited to get here and I know I'll get there one day because I'm, I'm just not going to stop until I get here. Another way that I, I do like to monetize is using the Amazon influence program, both the one where I can put links in the description of this video and say, Hey, you know, this is the, the product that I featured on this video. You can go click the link and you can go and buy it. That's called the um, Amazon associates. That's like an affiliate program. And then the other way is where I make videos reviewing products that I've purchased on Amazon or purchase elsewhere that is sold on Amazon, or if it's given to me as a gift or some, you know, sample product, then I can make a video. I have to disclose that, you know, that it is a sample product. That's the FCC guidelines, but I can upload that to the Amazon site. And then when you view, when anybody views a product and they want to look at the review videos on the product that they watch, I don't know how long of the video, but if they end up going and purchasing the item, um, then I get a commission on that item. Another way that I'm monetizing is on my TikTok account, which TikTok has been my main account for a long time. If you were to go on my profile, you would see that I'm making shop videos. So uh, this first one right here is a shop video. This is a shop video. This third one is not. This is a shop video. This cake review is a shop video. This one with my kitchen remodel is not. Um, so I just started putting the red colorings on my shop videos. This one actually is a shop video, but I forgot to put the red on there. So, so basically I'm reviewing products on TikTok. And then if you were to look at the videos on your phone, yeah, it doesn't show it here online, but there would be like a little shopping cart right here in the lower left corner. And then you could go and you could purchase the item if you end up liking it. So I've been making pretty decent money on TikTok for almost a year. Gosh, October will be a year or maybe it is September. I think it's been a year. It's not like quit your job money, but it's been an okay source of income. And I think once I get better at this, like it's, it's literally taken me so long to get good at this because I'm stubborn and I don't want to do the hooks and I don't want to be all fake, you know? So I'm still, I'm still talking the way that a normal person talks, which doesn't seem to result in so many sales, but whatever. I'm also on Benable. This is Benable. Benable is a place where you can make a list of things that you recommend. They don't have to be affiliate products, but I think it was really good to have them be affiliate products because basically people that are browsing on, on Benable can go and see the things that you recommend or the, or the collections of things. You don't even have to own the item, the collections of the things that you have put together. Like for example, I am redoing my living room and my kitchen area to coastal. So I made these two different lists of all of the things that I'm even just considering buying. So let's go into the coastal living room and you can put keywords in the title of your list and keywords in your description and then keywords in all of your sections. And then each of your sections has a keywords here. So this is how you get your, your list to be optimized. This, that's what this little um, check mark and little up arrow is lip, uh, list optimized means that I can be featured on the discover page. So that means other people can see my list and check it out. And if they end up clicking on the links here, these are affiliate links. If they go and they buy the item, then I get a commission for them from those items. So I just started, you know, making a collection of things that I saw and I liked and I would like to have for my house. Some of them are options, different options. So like I've got this sideboard and I've got this sideboard. Obviously I'm not going to buy both. Um, this uh, coffee table and this coffee table. Um, I did one on Halloween costumes. My husband and I have been talking about different kind of Halloween costumes that we could. So I just made a list and these were all affiliate links to, to different sites. So if somebody looks at my list and they go, oh, that's a cool idea. That's Benable. Uh, they have the ability to come in here and uh, let me go to my dashboard. You can go to uh, brand partners. So they have 36,000 brands. So if I just go to etsy.com and uh, you just click on, obviously you can see this is the history of photo. If I just click on this, I just need to copy the link. And then I would go over to my Benable list and go to that motorcycle list that I have right here. And then I, it would be under hair. So I'd click on hair, click on add, click that guy. And then it brings up the pictures. It'll automatically bring up the pictures on the site, right? So I can kind of pick which ones I want. 
Uh, sometimes there'll be low, low resolution pictures. So you do got to watch out for that. And then right here, Venable auto affiliate link. So Etsy is one of the 36,000 brands on here. So I don't have to worry about signing up and being an, an affiliate for any of, well, any of the brand partners that are on Venable. Uh, clicked on add note. And then this is where I want to put my note here. So this is so cute. You know, I want to put something better there, but I'm just kind of doing it in a tutorial. And then I click confirm and then it adds the thing here. Um, so, uh, I mean, I haven't made a whole bunch of money on here. If I go to cashback, I only made $42. These are things that people have bought based on the recommended things on my list. I can't even request payout. Payout is $80. So you have to have $80, but I'm continuing to do this. I think if I go here to dashboard it, and I scroll down, nope, it's under, um, two, nope, tune up cashback insights. Where is it at? Oh, right here, <laughs> right here. If I go here, um, this, this is my seventh month on Venable. So I've earned, how, how what did I say? $42 in seven months. It's yeah, it's not a huge amount, but I think it is de definitely directly related to the number of lists. I have 17 lists here, the number of items on each list, and, and then also the dollar amount of the items that are on your list. So a lot of them, the things on here are a lower price. If I started making some lists that were higher price items, that might help. The other thing is I could promote my, my whole Benable account elsewhere. So I could make it my link in bio, which I don't have it as my link in bio on any of my social media platforms, but I could, I could say, Hey, go check out my Benable list. And maybe I should, you know, cause I do have, uh, the Amazon storefront and I have the Walmart creator. I'm also a Walmart creator, which I haven't promoted that very much. Um, but I do have Walmart links in here. So, uh, maybe, maybe I could, maybe I could promote this more. So if you wanted to check out Venable, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. You can check out my list. And then I'm also going to put a link down there for an invite because this is invite only. So you would have to go through my link to sign up. So that is also going to be down in the description for you. Um, just a FYI on that if you create a Venable list and then you start uh, getting some commission from some of the things that you recommend, then I would get a portion of that for so many days. I don't remember exactly the rules, um, but that's the kickback that I get uh, as someone that refers you. So I just, I just don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, it's a little bit, it's not a whole lot, but whatever. I'm still sharing it with you. So, um, I think that sums up all of the ways that I'm monetizing currently. I don't have any platform monetization on Facebook, Threads, Instagram, YouTube, not there yet. Uh, TikTok. Oh, TikTok. I also have the um, Creator Rewards program. That's where you get um, money for the views. I'm, I'm not. I did make, I think, um, five or eight hundred dollars off that but it just, it's not consistent enough. I'm not making that kind of content. I got a lot of things going and it feels like it's a lot in the fire and it feels like, you know, like maybe I'm not focusing enough on my YouTube channel. Um, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like this is just going to take me time. I, I think in another year, I'm going to be so pleased that I took up this journey. It started about like three, three and a half years ago on TikTok, And, um, it's just, let's see, actually, well, if I go to my, I wonder if you could see here, I go to my account and I go to oldest. This is my very first video. I upload this on 6, 13, 2001. So yeah, just over three years ago. Um, so when I started my journey on social media over three years ago, just over three years ago, started really trying to make money online about two years ago. And then one year ago in September ish is when I started the TikTok shop. And that's when I started actually making some money, not a great amount of money. And then I don't remember when I made a YouTube channel, but I really feel like YouTube is going to be the thing for me. So that's, I don't know.
I'm just rambling. <laughs> I guess I'm just rambling. But yeah, thanks for watching. 250 subscribers. I'm a quarter of the way there on subscribers. I am nowhere near there on the watch hours. And that is just going to take time. I need to make more videos. And I need to make better videos that get people to, to come back and watch and get the watch watch hours. I also think it takes a little bit of luck. You know, I just, I've been that way with TikTok too, where it just, sometimes it's just the algorithm is just pushing it out and I have the, everything all primed. I've got the keywords, the hashtags, I've got the hook, like everything is ready to go. And then when the algorithm picks it up and then it goes viral, then you're on your way. So I'm just waiting for something like that to happen on YouTube. And I, I think it will. I think it definitely will. It just, it's going to take some time and you just never know. So that is it for this video. This is September 2nd, Labor Day, and I will see you next Monday. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. That helps me with my monetization journey. And if you have any comments or questions or, you know, anything that you want to say, hopefully positive. I don't really like negative, negative comments. I would kind of wish people would just keep those to themselves. Um, positive comments are welcome or questions or, you know, anything that's asking for clarification. I love those kind of things. Leave that in the, the comments for me and I will reply. And other than that, have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye-bye.